What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new case for the recomputer, otherwise known as the Odyssey X86 J4105, but you'll hear me refer to it as the recomputer because those are the markings on the board. Now if you're not familiar with the recomputer, I've done several videos on it. It's a single board computer from Seed Studio that packs a quad core Intel CPU and 8 gigs of LP DDR4 RAM. It comes in at around $180, and I personally really love this little board. It'll run Windows, Linux, Android, or pretty much any other x86 operating system that you can throw at it. So when the board was first released, there was absolutely no cases available for it, but now they have the recomputer case available for $15. Now this is specifically designed for the recomputer, but they've also set it up so it will hold a Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, or the Jetson Nano. And I'm sure you could fit other different single board computers in here, but I wouldn't go out and buy this specifically for the Raspberry Pi because the IO shields on it are only made for the recomputer. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what we have here. Overall, from what I've seen so far, it definitely looks like it's worth $15. We have that clear acrylic top on it. It's anodized aluminum here. And overall, it's just a beautiful case. The top is fully removable. It's got some magnets on it and sits there really nice so we can get to the M.2 slots on the recomputer very easily. And there's a little ejection button here I didn't know about. So when this is all put together, I guess you can use that to pull the top off easily. We have the base here. And like I mentioned, they have made this compatible with the Raspberry Pi and the Jetson Nano. But unfortunately, there's just no I.O. shields. If there was a way to buy extra I.O. shields, or if they came with it, this might be an awesome little case for a Raspberry Pi 4, and you could throw a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD inside of it with it. So all in all, I would really only recommend this if you have the Re computer and not some other single board computer, because the I.O. shields that come with it only work with the Re computer. We also get a little screwdriver and all of our hardware to put this thing together. Real quick, before we put this thing together, I did want to test out the Raspberry Pi on it. And yes, it does line up with the holes in the bottom. You can put the screws that are included with it. But once you put the whole thing together, you just kind of have these open up sides here and you'd have to route your HDMI cables inside of the case. So overall, I personally wouldn't recommend it for the Raspberry Pi. Unless they come out with a version that comes with the IO shields for the Pi or you can buy them separately. But as you can see here, it'll just kind of be opened up on both sides. So the way this thing goes together is actually pretty neat. You don't mount the recomputer to the base. You actually mount it to the midsection and you'll get the four included screws. First thing I need to do is go ahead and put the IO shields on. And the midsection is anodized aluminum. It's not plastic or anything like that. And it looks really, really nice. So I have those shields in and I can actually turn this over and just place it right in the midsection. Got to line it up. And you'll actually just mount it in here with four of the included screws. And I just noticed this, but there is a button included in the screw package for the power button on the recomputer. Should have put that in first, but I'll go ahead and do it now. I could just kind of shimmy this back out. and it'll cover up that power button for us. It does have an LED on it, so this should light up blue when everything's powered on. Yeah, and the button's working. It's pressing the button on the re-computer. Basically, all I need to do now is put the four screws in to hold the board inside of the case. All right, so there it is. It was actually a little harder than it looks because the magnets on the top pull your screw off of the screwdriver, but you can get there. Now it's time to put the bottom on, make sure it's lined up correctly. Yeah, and we do have access to that little uh, top ejection button so we can pop the top off at any time. Now all I need to do is mount the bottom on. There's four extra screws. You go in from the inside with the bottom here. I'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll take a look at this thing fully assembled. So yeah, I really do like the look of this. It's got kind of a knuck look to it. We do have access to both sides, all the IO on this, and we can eject that top and we can get right to those M.2 slots to add whatever we need in there. And one thing I really didn't notice or even think about when I was putting this together were the extra feet on the side. So we can set this up in a vertical orientation and have a super mini desktop. Personally, I would love to set this up in a vertical orientation on my desk or something like that, but to tell you the truth, it's probably going to be sitting horizontal most of the time just to keep out of the way. 
Now, one of my favorite things about this little PC is single cable operation. If you have a monitor that supports HDMI or DisplayPort over USB Type-C, you'll only need a single cable. And by the way, the monitor that I'm using here is a BenQ EW3280UT. This is absolutely the best display that I've ever owned. It supports 4K. As you can see, DisplayPort over USB Type-C. It also has HDMI inputs and built-in sound. If you want to learn more about this display, I will leave a link to BenQ's website. Like I mentioned, this is the best display I've ever owned. So right now on this little re-computer, I have Ubuntu 20.04 installed. It will be running in 4K on this monitor over USB Type-C. We're getting power in there, and I do have a keyboard and mouse plugged in, just a little wireless dongle. But those are the only two things that I have plugged into this unit, and I can use it like a regular PC. I really do like the fact that I can set this case up in a vertical orientation. It's got those four little rubber feet on the side, or you can lay it down flat and put it right underneath your display to keep it out of the way. So yeah, this is a great little case for this single board computer. I'm actually really glad that Seed Studio released something like this. Most of the time when these manufacturers build their single board computers, they only do the plastic cases, and this one is really, really nice. It's very well constructed. We have access to all the ports on this SBC, and cooling is a non-issue. We got plenty of room under here with that big heat sink to pull and push air out. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you own the Odyssey 4105 single board computer, otherwise known as the Re-Computer, definitely look into getting one of these cases if you're in the market. I really appreciate you watching, and if there's anything else you want to see running on the Odyssey single board computer, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, Thanks for watching.